What's good? It's your boy Maurice VDDC. I want to bring a video about soul exhaustion. So I was on Facebook scrolling around and I seen this post talking about 30 signs of soul exhaustion. And when I'm telling you, I've seen at least 30 people share it over and over and over, like agreeing, like, yeah, my soul is exhausted. My soul is exhausted. Like, it, it just kind of got under my skin. So I just wanted to talk about how to avoid soul exhaustion. Because as you can see, I'm out here getting my son. October, my soul ain't exhausted. So let's talk about it. You know, we are going through the same stuff. So, so why are some people not exhausted and why are others exhausted? And what can you do to avoid it? So number one thing is get in nature. Get outside. You know, be, find a tree. Become friends with that tree. Hug that tree. So I know a lot of us, we, we're not in warm areas. Some of us is in cold tundras and shit. You know, even then, you know, find a place and just connect with the sun. You can connect with the sun even when it's cold. As long as the sun is there, connect with it. That's what I mean when I'm talking about nature. I mean the sun, the moon, these things. Connect with it. It'll revitalize your soul. I'm telling you, just being out here makes me feel good. It makes me feel alive. And that's how I want you to feel. You know, nobody's soul should be fucking exhausted. You know, we have to become alchemists of our lives. And being an alchemist is never learn, letting the external world govern our internal condition. So we have to take control of our internal conditions. You know, me, a lot of us, we realize that we're not in control of a lot of things in our lives. But one thing we can be in control of is the inside of us, our internal conditions. So... We can take control of that by connecting to nature. Two, disconnect to reconnect. What I mean by this is disconnect from social media, disconnect from all these things telling you that you're not good enough, from TV, from, from a lot of these things telling you that you're not good enough, from music telling you that you're not grinding hard enough. Disconnect from all of that and reconnect to yourself. That's what I mean when I say disconnect to reconnect. So disconnect from these outside lies, these voices telling you that you're not good enough, you, you're not grinding hard enough, you're not valuable enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not tall enough, you're not handsome enough, you're not rich enough. You know, disconnect from all that shit and connect back to your soul that's going to tell you, your higher self is going to tell you a hundred times out of a hundred that you the chosen one. You're perfect. You're, you're, you're doing the best you can. You're awesome. You're amazing. I love you. We love you. You're, you're doing better than anybody could even imagine that you could do if they was in your circumstance. You know? So disconnect to reconnect is two. Three, up your knowledge. Read books. Turn the damn TV off. Turn, turn Facebook off. Turn Twitter off. Turn TikTok off and read, learn, apply yourself to, to knowledge. You know, there's no limit on how much you can learn. Did you know that? You can learn something new for every second, every minute for the rest of your life and your brain will never be full. You know, learning that is just like, man, you know, there's, there's always something to learn. There's always something to apply in our lives to where we, we don't feel like, damn, we don't we don't have enough. We don't know enough. You know, that's not true. That's not true. That's bullshit. Our souls don't need to be exhausted. Our soul can be filled with happiness and love. It's all about what you put into it. So read, you know, empty yourself to fill yourself with love and positivity and things that matter. So, so that's three, you know, read, turn off the TV, turn off social media, turn off a technology and connect back to the tree and trees <laughs> trees you know connect back to this beautiful thing called nature that god gave for us to be a part of god bless us with that oh man so so what is for <laughs> eat healthier eat healthier that's what i mean our intuition 
is governed by our guts. So the lighter food you eat, the healthier food you eat, the more you connect to your intuition, your gut. Because I know our guts, if, if our guts wasn't telling us that everything's eventually going to be okay, that things is going to get better for us, then we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have no purpose here. So a lot of us can't listen to our guts because of what we fill it with. We can't fill it with BS. We can't fill it with snacks and, and all these things that damage us. We got to fill it with with nature, plants, vegetables, fruit, water. Eat light for a week. Eat light for a month. And tell me how you feel. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel good every single day. So eat healthier to avoid soul exhaustion. We don't need to be exhausted. We need to be filled with love, compassion, peace. You know, I know a lot of us, a lot of us have something against peace. A lot of us have something against love. A lot of us do because we've been raised that way. We've been programmed that way to be in survival. Well, it's time to switch from survival and step into creation. And that's another video. But let's switch from survival and step into creation. So, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you uh, listen to this video and it helps for all of you who feel that way. You don't need to feel that way. I don't want you to feel that way. Thank you. Stay blessed. Peace.